Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought why not switch it up a bit with the weapons and do a fun weapon from time to time and I decided on the crossbow or the Ghostmaker R10 what it's called in this game. So yeah, let's get over it because I personally think the crossbow is a nice alternative if you just don't want to try hard all the time, have some fun, maybe get some cool one taps. And I personally think it's a super fun gun to play but I also have to say it's a gun that's very dependent on your aim since you only get one shot most of the time to kill somebody and you should also have a bit better knowledge on how to position correctly when to peek the enemy and when not because if you just run and gun with this crossbow you will have a miserable time and maybe only get one kill one death one kill one death all the time and that's not what we want but yeah if you haven't unlocked this gun and you want and you want to unlock this crossbow i couldn't find that much information online but one side said you need to get three takedowns that's the melee animation so when you're behind somebody and you press F and you zoom out in like third person and you can watch the takedown you need three of those and you need 25 headshots it only said 25 headshots so i'm not sure if it's really just with every gun just get 25 headshots or if you actually need to get 25 headshots with like a sniper rifle or something like that but if you want to find out you can easily hover over the crossbow in your weapon section before you search for any game and it will tell you what you need to do so now with that out of the way let's get into the stats so since we are talking about a crossbow and not a gun we don't have any special ammunition we just have bolts and we have basically three bolts we have your standard bolt we have an explosive bolt and we have a bolt rack that's basically a standard bolt but in a five round magazine and first of all i have to say the bolt rack is completely useless yes you can one shot but only up to i think five meters or something after this you need two shots or a headshot for one shot and since most gunfights will be like at minimum six meter distance um you will only get hit markers with this so i won't be covering it as for your standard bolt pretty simple up to 29 meters it's a one shot doesn't matter if you hit the head or if you hit the chest but the only problem we have with the standard bolt is that it only does 110 damage meaning if the enemy wears armor you have quite a problem and i ran into this problem by playing the crossbow and redacted quite a few times and Honestly, that's kind of frustrating, so I wish they would just make the crossbow 120 damage so that it's more consistent. But yeah, up to 29 meters, 110 damage. After this, it falls off between 30 to 39 meters down to 60 damage. But since we have a 3x headshot multiplier, the crossbow is always a one shot to the head so if you have the aim and you can do it just aim for the head even if they're like 100 meters away from you you will still one shot them so the other option you have is the explosive bolt and here it's pretty simple if you stuck to somebody you do 37.5 impact damage and the explosion does 95 damage meaning 132.5 damage total meaning you one shot everybody even if they wear armor and it also doesn't matter if you hit them in the legs or the chest they will always die but what you need to know with the explosive bolt is that it's not exploding instantly when you hit them so you stuck them then it takes i think one or two seconds and then they explode what this means for your playstyle is that you can't just run around the corner shoot somebody and then continue on because while this guy is stuck yes he will die but while the bow is ticking in him he can still kill you so when you play the explosive bolt i would either use it on range or when you peek out of cover or around the corner so you basically peek around the corner shoot the explosive bolt hit and then go back behind the corner and reload while the bow is exploding or while the bolt is exploding now as for ammunition we basically you get one shot as i said with the standard bolt putting in a new bolt takes 1.98 seconds so basically you have a two second reload if you miss this would be fast for like an smg but for the crossbow you really feel it there are a lot of situations where it feels like it takes like five years to reload even though it's only two seconds basically and with the explosive bolt it takes 2.47 seconds or basically 2.5 seconds so really if you don't hit your shot the first time around you are probably dead most of the time with the crossbar but nevertheless the gun is still super fun to play as for your loadout honestly there isn't much you can do i would just say run a red dot on this on the crossbow since Yes, you can one shot people on range, but since the bolt travel so slow and fall down so fast, it's not really worth stretching out the range as with the crossbow. As for your ammunition, standard bolt in the first slot since it's that since that's what we will be using most of the time and the uh, explosive bolt in the second slot. And I also have to say for the explosive bolt, Irish's IPS stops the explosive bolt. So if there are a lot of people together, 
You sometimes might think, hey, it's a nice idea to use the explosive bolt, but they usually have an Irish, so you're better off just using the standard bolt. Now, as for your under barrel, since it's a single shot weapon, you don't need any accuracy or recoil control or anything, so I usually just go with the MGA laser sight for the improved hip fire. But I also have to say, even though you have improved hip fire with the laser and you can hit some shots with it, I think you can also see it in the background gameplay, the gun is still for some reason quite inaccurate, so if you're not really standing inside of the enemy, I would just take the few milliseconds more and just ADS. And for your barrel, you can't equip anything, so it's just this factory barrel. Now, as for your loadout, I would advise you to run the crossbow on Falk. The main reason is with the crossbow, you need to get close, and since you only have one shot all the time, this basically means that you will inevitably take damage from the enemy just by being so close and being basically reloading constantly. This gives the enemies more opportunities to shoot and you and deal damage to you. So you want a constant consistent amount of healing all the time and the Falk with the syringe pistol yeah it's basically 12 stim pistols you have that recharge all the time so that's why I would recommend you run Falk and of course with the ammo box and your smoke grenades since you want to get close having basically infinite smoke grenades also helps a ton using this crossbow so I would recommend Falk of course you can play it on any other character but I just think the unlimited stims and unlimited smoke grenades you basically get is really helpful. As for your secondary I would actually recommend using the Desert Eagle with Falk simply because if you hit a crossbow shot and it doesn't one shot it usually deals enough damage that one shot from the Deagle is enough to finish them off so yeah that's what I would run and I would also advise you to run as a loadout for the crossbow. Now as for my conclusion, should you run the crossbow? Yes, but you should only do it if you have a quite decent first shot accuracy. So if you usually run fully automatic weapons and you can't properly shoot your first shot when you're on the target and you always start shooting while dragging your aim or your reticle to the target, I think the crossbow isn't for you since you're basically always missing all the time. So, so you need good first shot accuracy and I would also recommend using the crossbow when you know how to play the maps because the worst thing that can happen with your crossbow is you overextending too far killing one and then basically dying because it takes you like two seconds to reload and in a time the enemies like turned around that started shooting at you and you just die that's also not a fun experience but if you have a good first shot accuracy you know how to play around corners and around cover then it's super fun to play it's something that is not really sweaty you can still get high kill games i think the last game i had i had around like 80 90 kills it's not what i usually drop with fully automatic weapons but it's still a lot higher than most of the people in the lobby dropped so you can still get kills with it it's super fun to play and also what i think is very important the crossbow feels really satisfying to play especially when you land like long range headshots or even close range when you kill like two three enemies even four in a row because you perfectly time when to reload how to weave in and out of cover it's a super satisfying weapon super fun and all you get all of this without being like a super sweaty weapon because honestly if the enemy complains that you are playing a crossbow then you did everything right but yeah that's it for me today i hope you enjoyed this weapon guide for a not so meta gun this time around and yeah if you enjoyed my content consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one